A few other nuances about namespaces before we leave the topic. I think the main thing to understand about namespaces is that they're a way to kind of group our classes into different names, and hopefully these namespace names are intuitive, but really they're just syntactical sugar. The compiler just prepends the actual type name and puts a dot in there, and the dot is just another character in the entire class name. So the actual name of this class is J-A-M-I-E dot D-O-G. It's not like Jamie dot dog. Anyway, I think we're done with your down here. Sorry to kick your code out. I just want to show you some other things about namespaces. You can nest them. So namespace animals like so and like that. And then I could say namespace even further and furry friends. Alright, and you can see this could easily get ridiculous very quickly. But now I, I have to say, okay, uh, Jamie dot animals dot furry friends dot dog and that's the actual name of the type it's j a m i e dot a n i m l s you get the idea okay all the way to dog we don't have to necessarily nest them this way if i want to be a little bit cleaner then i could do it like this and then i don't need all this nesting and i really don't like indenting anyway like back that dog class back up but now you can see hey that's that's gonna work let me let me actually watch I'll control dot here and uh, be explicit right there control shift B it builds just fine it succeeds uh, but wow that's long it's not long that's a pain okay if you're using namespaces like this please double check what you're trying to do there this, I think that's a little bit overkill but sometimes you end up seeing libraries like this and all I wanted to say was dog well I could I could put a using up here, using jamie.animals.furryfriends, and then I no longer have to explicitly put the, uh, I want to say I don't have to explicitly put the namespace out here, but to be perfectly correct in .NET land, I don't have to put this part of the type name out there. I can just say, hey, the stuff that comes after the period, and that works fine as well. No big deal. Now, say I, I, my class name was something ridiculously long or maybe it didn't make sense or who knows what and these cases again are really rare but but say this is my dog class with some other fluff on the end I could come up here and say you know what I just want to say dog so using dog gets Jamie dot animals dot furry friends dot that big long class name and now all of a sudden I've made an alias for just this file for this type name so that I can go back and just say dog again all right, dog, dog, build, it builds just fine. So there you go, just some little nuances with namespaces. One last thing before we leave the topic, I'm just going to get my static void main up there. Um, I often see developers get confused between namespaces and assembly names. And if you don't understand assemblies, go look at the whole suite of videos on assemblies, all right? But... I can kind of say that assemblies are a DLL, but that's not always correct, and, but, but for the most part it is. I can say an assembly is a DLL or an EXE, I'll just throw that out there. Okay, I often see uh, compiler, or not compilers, programmers come over here and say, add reference. You know, and say they're trying to add a reference to system dot who knows what. Well, namespace names, it, it almost looks like namespace names are identical to assembly names, which they're not. There's several types in the .NET framework. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but the namespaces inside of assemblies are, are different than the actual name of the assembly. It just so happens that they name assembly names similar to namespace names. And yes, many times the namespace names correlate directly with the uh, appropriate assembly name, but many times they don't, so just don't fall into that trap, okay? The names you see when you're adding a reference to an assembly are completely and absolutely unrelated to namespace names. Sometimes they match, but that's simply mere convention. There's no requirement there at all.